scrapbookers this is Megan and I am back today with another layout for Cheeky Studio for this one I am going to be using the Easter 2018 ephemera pack and sequin pack and this ephemera pack is super super cute um, and it's a little cutesy for my my boys now so I decided to use some older pictures of Jonas and Brennan um, painting some Easter eggs. I thought that would be kind of a fun and whimsical layout to um, to use this cute ephemera pack with. So here I am going to use this pink polka dot paper and this is from the Just Be You collection which I think is an Echo Park. It's one from a couple of years ago I'm pretty sure. So you can see I'm just matting the photos with this pink. I thought this pink matched or coordinated really well with the blues in the ephemera pack. And I really, really liked these two colors together. So at first I'm thinking I should do some mixed media behind the photos. So I pull out my Heidi Ho blue that you can get in the cheeky shop. But I decide, you know, the ephemera pieces are blue, and so I think I'm just going to stick to using the ephemera and not do any mixed media. And then I get to the end of the layout, and I'm like, no, it needs mixed media. So I'm going to kind of remedy that with something else. Okay, so you can see here I'm kind of just tucking the ephemera pieces underneath the photos and on top of the photos and playing around with the placement and basically that is all I do on this layout is I just layer the ephemera pieces on the photos and behind the photos and just yeah pretty much have fun using up half this pack this pack is jam full jam packed this pack how many kind of times can I say the word pack? This ephemera um, collection is jam-packed with just pretty, pretty cutesy and fun pieces. And here I decide that I'm going to use this hot air balloon. And there is a bunny in the basket of it, but I decided to hide, hide it behind the photo just because the bunny didn't really go along um, with the rest of the layout I kind of felt like. And I just liked the look of that um, hot air balloon peeking out behind the photo. So it's all good. I covered up the bunny, but it's okay. We still love the Easter bunny. <laughs> anyway, so I did forget that I had wanted a little bit of space um, between the photos. So when I hadn't glued them down, I had kind of staggered them a little bit. And I'm going to realize that here in a minute that I laid them too close together. And I am going to move it. So, of course, I'm going to glue down a bunch of stuff first before I realize it. So, I'm just gluing away and playing around with placement and just having a lot of fun. Um, I wasn't even really planning on making this layout when I did. But I was just talking to Hannah and just... I was like, you know what? I'm going to scrap. So I did. When Hannah and I talk, like, we don't always scrapbook. Sometimes we just talk and hang out or, like, edit stuff on the computer or, you know, whatever. Like, um, it's just some nights we don't scrapbook when we do it. And I was thinking I wasn't going to scrapbook this night, but then I kind of felt the urge to scrapbook. So it was fun. It was nice because I literally never scrapbook anymore and it makes me sad. Um, so that's why you've been seeing less and less videos of mine, which I apologize for. I had a completely different idea of what I wanted to do with my YouTube channel this year and 
since I started a full-time job and everything, um, it's life has just gotten so, so crazy that I just don't have time to scrapbook anymore. So I'm going to do, I think towards the end of April, I'm going to post a new face-to-face -face video and just kind of talk about, you know, my new goals because they have kind of changed and everything like that. I'm still going to do series with friends and stuff, but it's going to, I'm going to step back YouTube quite a bit in the next coming months. So anyway, sorry, back to the layout. Here I'm gluing down this bottom cluster. I did decide to bring it down lower because at first I had it, you know, in the bottom right hand corner of that photo, but I'm thinking it's too close to that other cluster under that other photo. So I do pull it down a bit to just give it a little bit more space. And I'm going to just play and add to my heart's content. And I am going to, I cut, or I, I, um, I rip apart a couple of these pieces that are supposed to be kind of like, um, I don't know what you call them, like decorative wreaths or garlands or something. And, um, I, I ripped them in half just because it, it worked so well to kind of put the left side on one side and then the right side on the other side or kind of coming out the top and then the other side coming out the other top. So, so it worked out really, really well here. I'm thinking I have everything glued down and I'm pretty much done with the layout, but it, it still doesn't feel finished. And I do need a title, so I'm going to pull out these really big um, alphas from the Wonder Collection. And the reason I, I was thinking I wanted to use these was because um, Miranda's sketch calls for a really big and long title. And I didn't really have a big title. It was just going to be Easter eggs or painting Easter eggs or coloring Easter eggs, something like that. So I was thinking a big, you know, alpha would be good. And the Wonder Collection alpha is really the only big alpha I have. So I'm going to try out a few different options and then I'm going to just toss that idea. Here I'm going to pull out these Studio Calico letters that are humongous. Turns out I only have one of each letter, which I was like, seriously, who makes an alpha like that? Kind of made me mad because <laughs> this would have probably been perfect. I could have just named it Easter 2009 or something like that, you know, but oh well, didn't work out. So I'm going to put these away in a different bag because they were all sectioned out and they didn't have um, like a reclosable top. So I had to find a new bag for those. Then I'm thinking maybe I want to do a pink title and bring in more pink. So I have these, um, what are those called? Tiles. And I like those, but at the same time I was thinking, no, I need to bring in more blue. I need something to contrast with that white background and all the pink and the browns. So here I'm going to pull out this blue alpha and I already put it away. I don't remember what it's called, but it is quite a few years old as well. I think it's from 2000, I want to say 15, but it's probably even older than that. But um, here I'm just going to place the title up here above the photos. So I'm going to have it say painting eggs and painting is going to be up there on the top and then eggs is just going to sandwich in between those two clusters and that kind of brings them together and makes it like, because there was like an awkward space since they were so close together and so it kind of makes it not such an awkward space anymore. So I am really liking how that looks, but it still feels like there's something missing. So I'm going to bring in some more embellishments and this banner. There was only one banner and I thought it was super duper cute. So I'm excited that I'm going to be able to incorporate into this layout. So here I'm playing with the ephemera pieces again and trying to place them in this corner and I wanted it to kind of be like um, 
uh, mirror image so that the left corner looked like that top right corner. So I do end up ripping two of the ephemera pieces in half and just mimicking everything that's on the left goes on the right. So I don't know. I hope I'm making sense. It's like midnight here and I just finished making this layout and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the voiceover because everybody in my house is asleep. Even the dogs are asleep. And so it's pretty quiet. <laughs> this is a perfect time to do my voiceovers. So here you can just see I'm gluing all of those pieces down. And then I'm going to add sequins. And I kind of go sequin crazy on this layout. I put sequins all over. And I have kind of gotten away from using sequins. And now I'm getting back into it. And I'm like, why did I get away from using sequins? I absolutely love sequins. They're amazing. So I'm going to cut this part out because it's going to take forever to put these down. Okay, so I'm just finishing up gluing down the last few sequins and you can kind of see that I just have them scattered all around in the different clusters. Here I'm going to try to add another flower and then I decide, nope, I'm going to add some more sequins. Why not? <laughs> there was just a little bit of blank space up there in that by that banner. And then I'm going to look at it and feel like it's still missing something. So I'm going to add this little, I don't know what this is. It's like a, a wheat leaf or something. I'm going to add that to this cluster down there. And that kind of breaks apart that blue. So there's not so much blue all in one area. Then I'm going to pull out, I'm going to put everything away so I'm kind of cleaning up my area and then I'm going to pull out my Glorious Day um, Shimmers paints and you can get that in the shop. I'm not sure I actually do that on camera though because it looks like here I'm going to start gluing down my my title and as you can see I am fighting with this stupid fine line bottle and I end up just throwing it away because it does not work out at all I think it got clogged even though I could tell there was air flowing through it I don't know what was going on with it anyway so I think after the fact I'm going to um, do some paint shimmers paints because I feel like it's too stark white and I do use the glorious day because it'll bring in kind of a darker gold which will go well with the the yellowy orangey brown tones that that um, Tuesday has going on in this ephemera pack so I'm gonna um, post some photos at the end here so you can see what the end layout looks like. Thank you so much for coming by and watching today. Make sure that you use my code in the shop. That is CraftyMaggie10. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.